What is up guys, Ken Ross here, coming at you with another tutorial. Today is my uh, syncing with Twixter and After Effects. It's really not that complicated to do. When I started out After Effects, uh, it was kind of kind of tough for me. So yeah, I pretty much starting from scratch here. I have my clip and I have my audio. I'm just going to disable the audio on there. Right click, go to enable time remapping. Right, um, Then go on to the audio. We're going to double click L so we can see our waveform. If you couldn't tell, I'm not doing this live. The audio screwed up. But uh, yeah, so we can see our waveform there. We're just going to drag our audio out to the point where we can see our clip. Um, and here I just preview it out. I'm sorry you guys can't listen to it. Like I said, the audio on my computer screwed up. But that is how you uh, preview the audio. You go to Composition, Preview, and Audio Preview here forward. Um, but that's pretty much for that. And <clears throat> um, so pretty much this tutorial is like... It's it's really basic, but yeah, we're just gonna position our audio here to the point where we like to see it, and to the point where like we want our clip to start. Usually, when you're doing a montage, you're obviously probably not gonna need this, but uh, yeah. So we have our audio waveform here. We're just gonna add our markers. You go to the part where it starts. You go to layer, add marker. Now you want to go to your next point. You go to layer, add marker. So you can see these markers popping up here. You go to your next point. You go to layer add marker these are your syncing points by the way um you go to the next point you go to layer and then add marker <clears throat> okay so now we're now that we have our markers on our waveforms we can see where we want our shots to be at so we're just going to go here and we're going to line up our clip with our first shot but first we're going to add our twixter so going to right click go to effect twixter pro change our uh, frame rate to 59.4, contrast, soft edge enhance, motion weighted blend, you have my Twixter settings, it's another tutorial on my channel, if you guys want to go check it out, by the way if I'm going too fast here, um, I'm sorry, I can I can slow down my next tutorial, just let me know, just let me know in the comments, por favor, um, I always like feedback, and so now that we have that, we're just going to go E on our keyboard for effects, go to Twixter, go to output control, but don't hit your keyframes yet, because we haven't lined up our first shot, so we're just going to go on a hold shift here as we drag our slider so that it'll snap to the first marker and you'll see it snap here. And now we're just going to line up our first shot with this marker just by dragging it because that's really all we want to do here. We're not going to slow down the first clip. So we can see that our first shot is right about there. And now that we got that lined up, we're just going to go and as you see for our first shot mark, there it is. And that's really all. So... Now we want to add our Twixter. So pretty much we're going to go to the spot where the numbers pop up and we're going to hit our keyframe now. Hit U on our keyboard so we can see only our keyframes. And then uh, go forward one frame like I, say, like I do here and then change the speed, speed to about three. Then go halfway in between both your markers on your, on your audio. Maybe you can go to a beat if you want. But then hit a keyframe. Don't change the number, the speed, because we don't want to do that yet. So then you want to go forward holding shift to your next marker on your audio line which would be the next gunshot, and then drag that speed up until you see him hit the gunshot. Uh, you can see clearly he went too far there because you saw two people in the kill feed, but you see he gets the shot right about there. So then we want to stop dragging. And now as you see here, it slows down when the numbers come up, and then it, it's like gradually speeds up until he gets the shot. And the shot's right on the, right on the sync point. And it's kind of a concept. You'll see me do this for all four of these shots like I said I apologize but yeah at the end you wanna go I screw up here but at the end um, after that last keyframe you wanna go back and you wanna uh, go forward one more keyframe change the speed to 100 so we have a normal speed um, then go f like forward to the, the numbers are big again and then hit a keyframe then go forward one more frame and then change the speed to 3 so we have our Twixter for these numbers, go forward halfway in between our markers and then hit a keyframe but don't change the numbers like I said, holding shift, drag that slider and then drag this along like I like we did before until you see the next guy killed and right on the gunshot I tried to line it up as close as I could as you can see then you just want to go forward one more frame but this is the point of timer mapping. As you can, as you guys can see here, if we didn't timer map, we couldn't be able to drag that out. But because we timer mapped, we can drag that out as long as we want without affecting the clip at all. But uh, yeah, now that we have the keyframe, we just want to go forward one more frame, change the speed to 100, 
then go to the middle in between our keyframe or my bad go to the numbers here and then we want to we want to add a keyframe to keep it to 100 and then go forward and one frame change the speed to three go forward halfway in between our markers just like we have on every other clip uh don't change the speed here just add a keyframe then go forward holding shift to our next marker and then drag the speed up until we get to that final kill but yeah, um, I know I went too fast, but here, here, but it's the same thing four shots in a row, so I figured it would be all right if I did that. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, this is a kind of a basic tutorial if you guys look at it. Um, I had trouble with this when I started After Effects, so I hope this helps you out because I was always looking for this tutorial. And thank you for watching. Like I said, we can just add Twixter here at the end with these numbers. Just go to keyframe, go one forward, one more frame, change the speed to three, and let this drag out. But I guess that's it for a tutorial. Um, that's that's my dog's barking, if you guys can hear. So on that note, I will end it here and check you guys later. Peace out.